I'm going to show you how to do your work on Fusion as a student. It doesn't matter whether you're using the button theme or the dashboard. The system's exactly the same. You may also find that some of the wording is different on your system. Again, that doesn't matter. So this system that's called homework may be called assignment or prep or anything else on your school. But it's the same system. I've been set three pieces of homework here and I'm going to go through how to do each different type. So the first type is homework where you've been asked to upload a file. The first part of the homework is your instructions and the teacher may even put a video in here to watch. There's then another section which is resources. These are files that your teacher has given you to help you with your work. You may be asked to use these files or they may be just there for reference. If I scroll further down, I see my submission options. So let's go through those. The first option is to upload a file from your computer. And that's just what you would expect. You browse for your file and click upload. The second option is to get a file from your My Files area within Fusion. So if I click on that, here's my completed homework that I've saved in My Files. I just click on that and you can see it's now been submitted as homework. I might have added a file to my clipboard and I can use this to go and retrieve my file from the clipboard or I can create a brand new file, either an internal document or a docx, a Word document, and I can submit either of those directly for homework. If I wanted to use the template the teacher has provided, I can click on it and choose Edit. I can then work on the template, and when I've finished working, I can either save a draft of that work in my files, or I can submit the file directly. I can also change the title, which is quite important. So I've just changed the title so that it describes what it is I'm submitting and I click Submit. And that submits that file into my homework. So I've now submitted two files here. If you're absolutely sure that you've finished with this homework and you don't need to do anything more, you can click Complete. And that will help you by showing this homework as complete in your list. But don't do it if you're not absolutely sure. I'm just going to click complete here. You can leave a note for the teacher if you want, but you can just say continue. And I've now finished with this homework. So let's go and look at the other homework that I have. There's one here that says no submission is required and instruction only. So this is where the teacher tells me to do something. I may be asked to go and learn something or read something. And in that case, all I need to do is tell the teacher that I've done it. So I just click the complete button and that's done. Again, I can tell the teacher about it or I can just say continue. So I've done that homework. And then the third type of homework is where I'm asked to hand in homework physically to the teacher the next time I go into my class. If I click on that, here's my instructions. And for this one, you're just acknowledging to the teacher that you're going to hand the work in. And it actually allows me to say when it's going to be given to my teacher. And once again, you have a chance to comment. If you decide at this point that you would also like to upload a file, there is an option to do that. For any homework, you can comment at the bottom. So the system's already noted that you're going to give your work to your teacher but you can add another comment at any time to any piece of homework and your teacher can reply and you can have a whole conversation about your work here. So that's the three types of homework. There is another way that a teacher might set work for me and that's task lists. So I've got a task list here that a teacher set. I click on it and I have some work to do. There's a Word document to read and a quiz to do. And then it says I must achieve 50% of my quiz to progress to the next task. So let's go through this task list. Click on the first item and read it. And then move to the second item, which is the quiz, which I complete. 
So I finish the quiz and I submit. And luckily I can see I have 60% so that's great. Back in the task list it's telling me I scored 60% and it's opened up the rest of the task list for me to go through. You can see that when you've completed something the items ticked and you can choose to untick those if you want to go back and do it again. But this lets your teacher know how far you've progressed in your task list. Your teacher may also ask you to upload a file to your workbook. Not all schools use the workbook but it's available here and I can add a file to my workbook by clicking here, choose a subject from the list, give the work a title. You can put in an optional description to help teachers to understand what this file is about and you can also tick to inform a particular teacher that you've uploaded a file and then you click add file to add the file to the workbook and you have some choices about where to get the file. You can create new files, you can go to my files, get one from the clipboard or upload as before. So I'm going to go and collect my file from my files and submit. And there it is. So that's how to add a file to your workbook. When you add new files they will always be added at the top and it's a bit like an exercise book with all your work for each subject saved on one page. Apart from that, a teacher might ask you to go to your class or your learning space to see the information that's been placed there. Rather than setting the work, the teacher might leave the work in the class for you to go and look at. So that's how to do your work on the Fusion platform.